Kansas will new at 1230 a rally just wrapped up in Portsmouth where firefighters are demanding more rights when it comes to their employment. It comes just hours before Portsmouth City Council is expected to make a decision about collective bargaining. Emily Harrison joins us live outside of the rally to break this all down for us. Emily, what exactly are the firefighters fighting for? Well, at the crux of this rally, firefighters and other city employees say they want a seat at the table when it comes to their employment terms. And this really covers everything from pay to vacation time to benefits. And they had an entire rally today fighting for exactly those terms. In fact, you can still see some of the people are lingering here beyond this rally because for city employees like firefighters, all of this is determined by the city of Portsmouth. For years, state law prevented any city employees from banding together. That is until 2020 when lawmakers overturned the previous law. Now groups like these firefighters can demand what's called collective bargaining agreements, meaning they want the right to be there and have a say when it comes to negotiating their employment. These firefighters say they want collective bargaining so they can have their work valued and the rights protected. Kurt Dietrich, president of the Portsmouth Professional Firefighters and Paramedics Union, told me for them collective bargaining is about consistency especially considering the frequent changes found in leadership across the city. That gives the employees and the community that consistency that we miss so much here in the city, that we can have revolving doors of city managers and fire chiefs and department heads, but, but the core value of what the employees and the community expects from their workforce is going to remain the same. Now coming up on 13 News Now at 4.30, we're going to hear even more from the firefighters and paramedics who are really championing this cause and what they want to see from city council later tonight in Portsmouth. I'm Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. All right, Emily, thanks for that report. The city of Portsmouth could decide what to do with collective bargaining as early as today. It is on the agenda for a public work session that starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon.